In this video, I'm going to tell you how to study for exams, and I'm going to tell you the fastest and most effective way possible. I'm Kit, and this is Gorilla Physics, and we're all about getting the highest grades in GCC and A-level physics. But study tip videos, just like this one, are all about how to revise and applicable to every subject. So make sure you stick around through this video because I'm not just going to tell you what the evidence says but I'm also going to give you an example of the main bit of evidence that we have for this being the fastest and most effective way to learn. And in this video I'm going to give you the fastest and most effective way to revise so make sure you stay to the end. So stop what you're doing because you might be revising wrong. So many people want to know what the best revision technique is according to the evidence and I'm going to tell you in this video. You need to know this because you don't have time to waste revising in ineffective ways. Thanks a lot to Tasmai for sponsoring this video. Tasmai is a personalised quizzing app which is tuned to work with the best evidence of the way people learn. It's an amazing tool to help you get the top grades. Check out the links in the description or the pinned comment to find out more. So what's the fastest and most effective way to revise? Well it's not rereading or making notes, although that is the most popular revision technique. So let's talk about what the evidence says. So I'm going to talk about what the evidence says, but first I'm going to tell you a story. And it's a story about too many students really. So students at the end of a lesson on a topic, they're super confident and they can whiz through the hardest questions on that topic. Right then and there, if I give them a test, they will get 100%. But when I give them the same test in a few weeks, they've forgotten most of it. They've lost the ability to do those questions. And the funny thing is, even when they've been revising for hours, they still can't bring themselves up to that level they were at at the end of the lesson. Now that's borne out in the evidence with this thing, the Ebbinghaus forgetting curve. And I've referred to this in a lot of videos before. What it shows is that right after learning something, you're gonna be at 100% retention. You're gonna remember everything that you've just learned. But a few weeks later, with no intervention, with no revision, you're gonna be way down here remembering barely anything of that. But the best thing about this graph is if you revise at the right times and in the right way, you can bring yourself very easily back up to that 100% retention. And the more often you do that, the shallower this forgetting curve gets. It gets less steep, i.e. you forget less in the same period of time. So what evidence suggests we should do is do regular and spaced self-quizzing. Brings you back up to 100% retention and most importantly, it flattens that curve. So in other words, you forget less rapidly. And what you do is you code that information into your long-term memory and that's what learning is. The evidence shows that as much self-quizzing as possible is what's best for exam success. And every year it's the students who are in the habit of self-quizzing that come out with the highest grades. It's the fastest way to cover material and it's the best way to memorise key facts accurately. And do you know what? You study so many subjects at GCSE that you haven't got time to waste on ineffective revision techniques. You study so many subjects at GCSE that you need to make sure that every minute you spend revising is as effective as it possibly could be. So stop and make sure that you're revising in the best way possible. Stop and make sure the revision you do is the most effective it could possibly be. Tassamite is a great way to make sure that you are in the habit of self-quizzing. We use Tassamite in our site spot because we know it makes sure students are learning the content in the fastest and most effective way possible. We've seen the effects on many GCSE groups. And once students are in the habit of getting their daily goals, their test results just take off. We know if they're using Tassamai, that Tassamai is prioritising the right topics for them and that's going to be making the best use of their revision time. Find the link in the description or the pinned comment to find out more. It really makes sure that you are revising in the right way and at the right times. Thanks once again to Tassamai for sponsoring this video. So if you found this revision tip useful, then there are loads more in this playlist right here. So one of our main and our best sources of evidence of how students learn best is from this gentleman by John Dunlosky. Now uh, this is called Strengthening the Student Toolbox and I'll put a link to this below and there's a few other articles you can find and this is a summary of the main evidence that he found and he and his team did a study of over 700 other studies and we call this type of study a meta-analysis. So they've looked at all of the scientific research into the way people learn and the effectiveness of different study techniques 
that they possibly could. And they've brought together all of those ideas and made a methodology to compare the results of those. So they've come up with this and this is just a summary of their findings. And I think you're particularly going to like this box here, which is a table, a summary of the effectiveness of different learning techniques. And you can see right there at the top there, practice testing, distributed practice, interleave practice, all the things that I've been recommending to you. And you can see that rereading, highlighting and underlining, do not come highly. In fact, this isn't in order, but they, they say basically it's not a great plan. There are times when rereading or highlighting might be useful, but generally at the start of a topic as a brief introduction rather than as a revision technique. So I highly recommend this. I'll leave the note, as I said, for you to go ahead and find this yourself. Now, if this is something that appeals to you, if you'd like to see a bit more in depth, where we know this stuff from. There's loads of different evidence. And this is also by John Dunlossy's team. There's loads of different evidence about the way that students learn. And perhaps you'd be interested in more videos where I go a bit deeper into the evidence that we have for the best ways that we learn that I recommend to you. Make sure you're subscribed to Gorilla Physics because we're about getting the highest grades in GCSE and A-level physics, but we also do plenty of study tip videos applicable to every course just like this one. You can't afford to waste any time. Follow this evidence-based advice and make sure you're revising in the fastest, most effective way possible.